I've always done abstraction, sometimes badly, but um, I would bounce back and forth between abstraction based on landscape, sort of a stylized landscape that was abstracted, and then sometimes I would do somewhat um, traditional landscapes that you could really step into and see. Even those had an element of abstraction to them. Um, pretty much now I've abandoned that and become a studio painter and I'm doing this sort of form of, I don't like to call it abstracted landscape, but I don't mind if somebody else does because whatever people see in it, I'm not going to say that's wrong. Um, and I have been a landscape painter, so I'm, I, I accept that. On the other hand, I don't want to limit somebody to see them as landscapes either. I think it's based on different periods of finding ways to deconstruct the traditional space of landscape painting. I think that intuitive process really starts from just quieting my mind. You know, I've done uh, as much of the hard research or figuring out. Um, it's just kind of showing up with an open attitude and seeing how it evolves. And it's a discovery for, my, for me as I go along. Um, the openness is what's important and being willing to go places that you're inspired to go. There's something that feels right, the balance, the beauty. Um, you just sort of are drawn to go there. And I think if you do art on a regular basis and you find a formula or safety, there's an unsatisfactory element to that. So you have to break out, you have to go just, just to have satisfying um, experience with painting. Reading about science, like the subatomic particles in quantum physics, um, it's inspiring, it inspires my imagination to think of that nothing is really solid, it's always moving and shifting, there's really no solid matter, it's just a charge at, of light or energy at the smallest particle that we can measure. Mm -hmm. 